Welcome back to Living East Tennessee. I'm Eric Brazil. Despite the pandemic and supply chain issues, holiday spending this year has the potential to shatter previous records. The National Retail Federation is forecasting that holiday sales will increase between 8.5 and 10.5 percent this year for a total of $859 billion. While everyone wants to find that perfect gift for that special someone or a close family member, you should always keep in mind that there are a good number of scams out there. Joining us today is safe shopping expert and visa executive, Natalie Kelly. And she's gonna help us with some tips on how to stay safe this holiday season. How are we doing today, Natalie? Great, Eric, how are you? I am doing fantastic and I am really excited to get, just pick your brain about all the ways that Living East Tennessee and all of our viewers can be safe this holiday season. So just to kick it off, is there just what tip, if our viewers could get one thing, what would it be? Yeah, I think there's a, there's a couple of things I would add in there. It's like c criminals are basically going to do anything to take advantage of consumers. And consumers are going to be tempted to go to the fringes of the Internet this year because of those global supply chain issues that you mentioned. And so they're going to be looking for the perfect gift. And if you're shopping online, one of the things you can do is look at that top URL. It says HTTPS. And that S is super important on the end because that means the connection is secure. And then when shopping in stores, consumers should use a chip card, whether it's a chip inside the card where you dip it into the terminal or it's that little three-line contactless megaphone that you see on the card where you can tap yes. the terminal. Those things offer consumers extra layers of protection. And have you started to notice any trends with how consumers are spending? I, I know there's Apple Pay, there's the Quick Pass card. There, there's so many ways for consumers to pay for these once in a lifetime gift opportunities. What, in your opinion, is both the safest way and what trends are you starting to see from consumers? Yeah, that's exactly right. Consumers have a million different ways that they can, play, can pay today, and they've really embraced, embraced digital payments. Um, like I was talking about earlier, the tap to pay, those contactless transactions, those things are going through the roof. And actually, we partnered with the Salvation Army this year, so you can even tap to give at those iconic red kettle stations that you see. And one of the other trends that we're seeing is buy now, pay later. So online, folks are wanting to do a larger ticket transaction, and they get to pay for it in smaller incremental amounts and installment payments over time. So those are the two biggest trends that we're seeing right now. Though that, that completely makes sense. With, with how things are going, people definitely want to set up these payment plans to make sure that they can take care of things in a reasonable way. Now, a lot around this time of year, unfortunately, a lot of phishing scams out there, a lot of scams associated with emails. So we went into making sure you see that S in the IRL, but as far as emails go, how can East Tennessee protect themselves from phishing scams and other email just tricks? Yeah, it's interesting because we're seeing a lot of those phishing scams and we're seeing that criminals get more aggressive about it. So it's not just in emails anymore, it's in text messages. And in some cases they're going as far as even calling the consumer themselves. And they want that personal information so they can hack into people's accounts or so they can download malware onto their computer. So if that, it, it, I will just offer two things. One, don't click links from people that you aren't sure of. If you get yes. emails in your inbox and you don't know who it's from, don't click the links. The other thing is don't give out your personal information. Always remember that your financial institution will never ask for your password. And if you are gonna be talking to folks, just make sure you verify who they are before you share any of that information. That makes perfect sense. In regards to the to the text message, that is new information for me, absolutely. I'm going to be much more aware about what text I'm receiving and interacting with. Crucial information this holiday season. Now, I know a lot of our viewers are like me. We get so busy during the holiday season that sometimes that perfect gift just slips our mind a little bit. So... If, like me, you unfortunately wait till the last moment to go and get this gift, what can I do if the gift just doesn't arrive on time? 
Yeah, I, I think this year more than ever, it's a no-brainer to start shopping early. But the second thing is, is like if it, your gift isn't going to get there in time, you can always take a picture of it and put it in a card or tear it out of a magazine and put it in a card and give it to somebody. Or a worst case scenario is if you're like me and you're super last minute, you can always take a picture of the item and text message to whoever you're giving the gift to. And that way they can still have something um, that, you know, they get for Christmas in their time for the holiday season. And then the other thing is, is if the gift doesn't arrive on time or if it's the wrong gift that was sent to you, we have what you call zero liability protection, where the consumer can work with the retailer to help make that right. And if they don't, they can call their financial institution and ask for a credit back to their account. And that's just a benefit of paying with your Visa card. That that is something I wish I would have known in many years previously. That That's so smart, taking a little photo saying, hey, this will be here in a couple of days. So then you still get to experience that excitement and gift giving that is all part of the holiday season. That's With right. us getting just inching every day closer and closer and closer, is there any last big tips that you would offer so that consumers can just have a nice smooth Christmas with as little stress and hassle as possible. Yeah, I think there's uh, certain ways to protect yourself that will make it even more stress-free. You know, um, card issuers across the United States offer transaction alerts. And that's when, if I make a transaction, I get an alert that notifies me that that transaction has gone through. That way I'm able to see is like, hey, did I really make this transaction or could it be potentially a fraudster? So I always like to promote transaction controls and that way it puts the consumer in control of their payments. A couple other things I can offer up is like setting spending limits uh, through your card and a lot of issuers offer today a way to turn on or off your card if you happen to misplace it over the holiday seasons. So those are just some extra tips that you can um, use to protect yourself. Natalie, thank you so much. I, I know I have a lot to digest and make note of because you just gave us so much good information. I want to make sure that all of East Tennessee can access this information at any time. So where can we go for more information or to retouch upon the great tips you've given us today? Absolutely. You can go to visa.com forward slash safe holiday shopping for more information.